Interventions are often quite separate from classroom activities. Lack of time for teachers and TAs to liaise allows relatively little connection between what pupils experience in and away from the classroom. So what can we do to rectify this situation? We know from the evidence that uh, when TAs are trained to deliver good interventions then we see children making progress. Uh, what the this project lends us to think is that perhaps that is not transferring into end of year uh, schools or learning, if you like. Um, so I think it's really important that we find ways in which uh, teachers and TAs can uh, identify what's been going on in the sessions outside of the classroom and finding ways to uh, make sure that that's uh, drawn out, it's reinforced, it's reiterated. Uh, back in the lesson so that the children who are on the end of those interventions begin to make uh, more sense of what it is they're learning and uh, contextualise it and practice it uh, and in a sense make it, uh, make it make sense to them about why they're doing it and, where the, and what the benefits of it are ac across their learning. Mm -hmm. I think the schools have taken a long, hard look at what the teaching assistant does with groups of children outside of the classroom, what the teaching assistant can do with children within the classroom and how teacher and teaching assistant have some synergy in the way that they work together. And they've looked very carefully at transference of skills. So how do the children write when they're in a st structured intervention and then how do they transfer those skills into a classroom context? So the schools may have looked at how children's work is marked and assessed and how children are given feedback in an intervention and does that mirror and does that match the way that might happen in the classroom. So the children are used to have the same expectations, they're encouraged to work and learn independently in both contexts and are they refining skills in an intervention that they can use independently within the classroom and is the language the same that the teaching assistant and teacher is using and are the expectations of the same standard. The key is to ensure that learning in interventions is consistent with and extends work inside the classroom and that pupils understand the links between them. It should not be assumed that pupils can consistently identify and make sense of these links on their own. That last sentence is the crux here. We can't leave it with pupils and assume they'll be okay. We've got to take control of it. How do you see this happening in your school?